Hey guys, Xbox Game Mode 2 back again. Well today guys, this video is all dedicated to all the pickups I got from the past weekend. Uh, I attended the EB Games Expo Sydney 2013. Um, it's, we've had it, this expo for about three years now, but this was my first one. And uh, it didn't disappoint. I loved the whole time, two days I was there. I was there Friday and Saturday. And um, oh man, what a... What a great um, expo, you know, just to, especially this year, seeing the new PS4 and the P um, Xbox One, uh, get the hands-on experience with both consoles a month before they due out, so um, that was pretty awesome. So yeah, I just wanted to go through and show you all the stuff I picked up while I was there, and then I'll give you a little um, background of what I tried and my thoughts and things like that. Uh, first off, I'll show you the one I'm most happy with. Um, this was just a shirt I had, I've had for a while. Goomba will get you, game over. Um, I originally wanted to get it signed. Uh, the, the idea I had behind taking the shirt was to get it signed by uh, Bajo and Hex from Good Game ABC 2. Um, for my overseas viewers, you might not know who they are. They're just um, two hosts. Um, it hosts an Australian gaming show on our ABC network. <coughs> Excuse me. And, um, yeah, it had a QA and a and then a signing. So I got to be in both. It was, um, I didn't get a chance to have a photo. Some people did. It's just, uh, I just want to get this thing, get it signed and move on because I wasn't sure if I was going to, um, get it signed, but I was one of the lucky ones. So, yeah, here, here we have, um, Hex's, um, signature. And up here we've got Bajo. And then um, I met another Australian YouTuber. That's um, pretty big here on YouTube. Uh, he does all the latest gaming news for us. Uh, Champ Chong. Some of you might know him. So I met, I met him at one of his meet and greets. And I just got, got him quickly signed my shirt here. So this shirt will be never worn again. <laughs> uh, I'm very happy uh, with the shirt now. I'll might get it framed or whatnot, no, I'm not sure, but yeah, it's got three people high up in the gaming industry here in Australia, so yeah, I was very stoked about that, so that's one item. Um, for $15, I've taken out the packaging already, as you can see, it's a die-cast model of um, a Banji from Halo 4, and uh, the top part's all metal, as you can hear, all the rest is plastic, but... There's great detail on it. Yeah, so I was very happy with this. And for only fifteen dollars and that opens up inside and you can see in there. Yeah, and it just comes with two little figures. The figures are not that detailed or anything special, it's more the vehicle. I've got a four and there's an elite and there's a, a little grunt. Yeah, so that was fifteen dollars. I'm not sure I originally priced. Might have been around forty, thirty dollars. I'm not sure, but fifteen dollars couldn't pass it up. Uh, here's just my tags. There's a lanyard with the EB Games Expo on it. Um, Microsoft booth. They had all these little stands around, and yeah, you swipe this card and you got information on all the games and that there. Um, I'm still not sure how it worked. Um, I did sign up for it, like put your email address in and name and all that. They had an iPad and just did that and you go around and swiped all these different terminals. So I'm up to check my emails or Facebook or however it worked. Uh, it just said you just scan around the place and you get information from um, that for about the games you're looking at and. Um, uh, you apparently can win prize in that, so I'm not sure after checking that, guys. But um, and while I was there on Friday night, Good Game had a live show. It was more like a, a show called like a, just a trivia show, basically. They had two teams, Barge on one and Hex on the other, and they just asking all gaming questions, of course. So that was a lot of fun. That went for about two hours, and then. Friday only had an express gamer pass, so that got me into, got to try the games a lot quicker. 
than line up normally so that was pretty good and what I got here is just an Xbox One dog tag just metal so not bad um, I tried Titanfall which is an excellent excellent game uh, they had it set up only on the 360 console this is coming to 360 and Xbox One so um, I was very impressed with the uh, Xbox 360 version um, so I'd love to see what the Xbox One version will be like if it's going to be pretty much the same or a little bit better but uh, <laughs> there I am looks like I'm being grabbed by the Titan um, I think they named this one Jack Jack the Titan I think, remember rightly so um, yeah so you just stood in there and it looks like you're getting ripped out if anyone doesn't know if you haven't looked in Titanfall uh, it's sort of like first person shooter and it, you can't call your Titan straight away it's about, um, about a minute into the game or something like that and then when it comes available you just tell it to come down a drop down and then you can climb into it so and what happens is if another Titan you're fighting gets too close it can open the hatch where you are and rip you out like there I am there looks like I'm being ripped out and you'd be thrown so yeah no that was a lot of fun and I uh, can't wait for it so there's a photo of me um, I went and saw Watch Dogs uh, Watch Dogs is almost out but they're still only showing a pregnant uh, presentation they didn't give you a gameplay it was just watching one of the guys um, play the game for you you just watching and uh, always a bonus for watching and they gave you this little sheet of stickers it's not not much uh, it's better than nothing so yeah um, what a they had a big EB games mega store that's where I got the um, Banji from as well and then I had I've never seen so many collector's editions of games in one store. They had mountains of them. They had, uh, I picked up the Dead Island Riptide Survival Edition for 360 for um, $57. So I thought that's not too bad. Uh, first down, it's just a tin case. If I can open it. Oh. So yeah, just a standard copy of the game. Uh, some DLC, and that's just a notepad, nothing too fancy. So, um, yeah, I'm enjoying the game. I started it last night. Um, yeah, and as a bonus, because I got the Express Gamer Pass for Friday, uh, they were selling these normally for $20 each. I thought it was a bit much, but lucky I got it for free. Um, it's a mug, and it's just a merchandise one. just says EB Games Expo Sydney 2013 on it. And what the cool thing about it is, um, it changes, um, the picture shows up when you've got hot liquid in the cup. So that's what it looks like when it's empty, and that's what it looks like when it's full. If it that'll focus, but yeah, basically that's what it looks like. Yeah, sorry guys, yeah. So I won't use this, I'll just keep it as a collectible, so um... There's that, and um, now, I did try um, Battlefield 4, I'm not a fan of Battlefield 4, so it, it, it didn't do anything for me, I only used the advantage because I had the game of pass, so um, yeah, it was alright, and you didn't get anything for it anyway, when you tried the game, they didn't get any shirts away or anything, no dog tags, nothing, so, uh, you know, but um, yeah, it was, it was alright. Um, but yeah, I'm not a fan of the game. I didn't even bother going to try Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, once again, I'm not a fan of both those series, so I didn't bother. And, um, they didn't, weren't giving away anything either. Just a little bag, little plastic bag with, a, um, it looked pretty flat. So I might have been some stickers and things like that. I didn't, I saw people walking around, but I didn't bother going, trying it. Uh, but what I did try, like I said, uh, Titanfall was really good. Loved it. Um, I tried, um, I went to the Nintendo booth and I tried the Wii U um, for the first time. 
Yeah, I'd have to get used to it. It was a bit weird with the tablet and, yeah, it was... I, I'm still up in arms if I'll get a Wii U or not, but, um, yeah, that was okay. Um, what else did I try? Uh, I quickly spin my camera around and you'll see. Hello! <laughs> but, uh, yeah, if, you, if that's coming, guys, Dying Light, um, the makers of, um, this game here, Dead Island. One and two, um, it's really good. It's it's what Dying Light is what Dead Island should be. The way combat is improved, it's graphically it's a lot better. You love that. And they're a smaller company, Respawn Entertainment. Uh, sorry, my mistake. Respawn Entertainment is for Titanfall. Um, I do. Oh, Deep Silver. My mistake. Um, yeah, just trying the game for about a couple of minutes. And then you got this free shirt. Like, it's really good. And the bigger name companies gave you shit. Gave you nothing. So, um, yeah, so no, I'm loving this shirt. It's really nice. Um, another one I tried was Dead Rising 3, which is a lot a lot better than 1 and 2, in my opinion. They've, um, it's, they're, they've taken away all the um, time-based missions where you had, like, only so much time to do something, they scrapped all that, so um, I wasn't a fan of that anyway, so um, that was good they got rid of that, I had a lot of fun with that game, Rise, Son of Rome, that's a good hack and slash, I can't wait for that one, that was really good, uh, tried, um, uh, what was another one, oh, Forza Motorsport 5, that was, that's just really kick ass, that's a really good game, um, gra so, graphics is so much better in it uh, than number four just really up to I think it's a whole new engine uh, new killer instinct that was really good um, what else god <laughs> god's trying to remember now um, maybe I should have written all these down before I start this video uh, da, 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 da. Uh, <laughs> sorry guys well, I'm, I'm drawing a blank so but yeah if I yeah, so I tried quite a few games, and um, yeah, I wasn't disappointed at all. It was a great experience, and I can't wait to go next year. And um, yeah, so guys, I just wanted to quickly, well, this video's gone about 12 minutes now. Hopefully I haven't gone too long. Just quickly show you what I picked up and my thoughts of what games I tried. And, and um, oh, what I will say, I yes, I did get the hands-on experience with the PS4 and Xbox One. Um... The PS4 looks good, it's an amazing machine, but unfortunately with the controller I'm not a fan of. Uh, it didn't fit my hands really well, um, I just didn't like it, it just, uh, yeah, so I'll be a bit if I'll get a, a PS4, that's if micro, uh, Microsoft, that's if Sony maybe brings out a res Resign model and that might be better. Uh, I'm not sure, but yeah, I'm just not happy with the PS4 controller. Uh, but Xbox One, on that hand, is very similar to the 360 controller, which I love and it fit in my hand a lot better. And uh, yes, I would be getting Xbox One first, and uh, but that's my my choice, my opinion. And um, yeah, so all right then, guys, I'll catch you soon. Another video here soon. Yeah, that just made a lot of sense. <laughs> Alright guys, cheers. Catch you later. Bye.